Shalom. This week we are reading the Torah portion of Yitro, beginning in Exodus 18, reading about the father-in-law of Moshe, Yitro. He was the Kohen of Midian. He was the high priest of Midian. And this is the Torah portion in which we find the Sinai revelation, the giving of the Torah, the Ten Commandments, and perhaps could be said it's one of the most central Torah portions in that it contains this important event. And it's named after Yitro, who was, in fact, a high priest of idolatry, Kohen Midian, the high priest of Midian. That is, until he heard about the great miracles that Hashem performed for the children of Israel, and he decided, in fact, to embrace the Torah and the God of Israel. How interesting, how unusual that the Torah portion, which features what can certainly be called to be one of the most important events in history, and in fact, the embodiment of the Torah itself, the Ten Commandments, the Sinai Revelation, this Torah portion is named after a heathen idolater who, in fact, became a great devotee of Torah and the God of Israel. You know, Yitro heard about the great things that Hashem did for the Jewish people. He heard about the manifestations of God's sovereignty. And what he heard, Rashi tells us, the splitting of the sea, the war with the Malik, these things made such an impression on his soul that he decided to give up his entire idolatrous career. And, in fact, he decided to devote himself to the reality of the one true living God, the God of Israel. And we are told in Exodus 18, we are told that Yitro said, Blessed is Hashem who saved you from the hand of Egypt and from the hand of Paro and who delivered the people from the burdens of Egypt. And then he says in verse 11, Now I know that Hashem is greater than all other gods. And the Holy Zohar tells us that when Yitro uttered these words, now I know that Hashem is greater than any other gods, this was the greatest moment of the sanctification of Hashem's name in history. It was such a powerful moment when Yitro, of all people, said, now I know that Hashem is greater than any other gods. And why is that moment so significant? Because he should know. He was an expert in all sorts of idolatry and cults. He was the high priest of Midian. But when he investigated with sincerity and with a seeking heart, he discovered that he had been wrong his entire life. And that moment, when someone who's far away comes and recognizes the sovereignty of Hashem and accepts it, that's the greatest sanctification. It's not such a difficult thing for someone who spent his entire life in yeshiva, someone who's been learning Torah, someone who maybe was brought up that way. It's not such an accomplishment for that person to believe in God. But belief in God and attachment to God is not supposed to be some sort of club only for special people that were raised that way or people in the know. The goal of Torah is for the entire world to be illuminated and to be united together in the recognition of Hashem. Look at the prayers on Rosh Hashanah, prayers that are very universal. We don't ask on Rosh Hashanah on the New Year. We don't ask for anything for Israel. We ask that the whole world be united in understanding and recognition of who Hashem is. And look how important this concept is that the, the heart, as it were, of the whole Torah, the portion in which we find the Sinai revelation and the giving of the Ten Commandments, is named after Yitro. The portion is not named Moshe. It's named Yitro. With all of his sordid past, he became a great follower of Hashem. And so, imagine this. In every family, you know, people love the nostalgia of bygone generations, and people sit around and take out old and faded photographs of grandfathers and great-grandfathers and the children never met these people and the fathers and the sons tell over to the next generation, this was your grandfather, this was your great-grandfather. Prestigious and illustrious lines of family. Family, it's very important. So, 
the grandchildren of Moshe Rabbeinu, the grandchildren of the great Moses, the deliverer of Israel from Egypt, the lawgiver, really the savior of Israel who took us out of Egypt. His grandchildren are sitting around the table and looking at photographs of their Zayda, their great-grandfather. And who is it? Yitro. And there's no shame there, even though he was an idolatrous priest, because the greatest sanctification of Hashem's name is when someone like that who should know and who's experienced in the world and in all of the lies and falsehoods and all of the deviant practices and, and all the different things that people can get involved with in this confusing world, when someone like that comes and realizes that there's really only one God, that's exactly what makes Hashem happy and satisfied, and that's exactly the greatest moment of sanctification.